Hey y'all, welcome back to The Simple Happy Life. Sabrina here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you our math books. While my kids are a little older now and enjoy reading chapter books, I still love incorporating picture books in our homeschool. And I think with stories to go along with our math lessons are a perfect way to incorporate them. They bring math to life through a story. And I think that always helps my kids at least um, make deeper connections. And we can read these books over and over again. And as they learn more about a math concept, um, they just, they make more connections. So I really like incorporating these. So I'm going to share it with you what I have. And um, some of you may have seen this, some, a lot of these in our Amazon haul, a few of them we already had, um, but I'm, I'm really excited about incorporating these into our um, math lessons and we're using Right Start Math. And I just did a video talking about these and I also have an unboxing of all of um, the manipulatives that come with it. Um, so I'll link those as well if you want to check them out. So let's jump into this and I'll start um, just sharing with you the titles of these. And, you know, if you have any suggestions for math books that your kids have enjoyed or something that you've picked up recently, please comment with it below. I'm always looking for new resources um, to share with um, my boys and with all of you. So let's jump into these. This first one is Osborne Illustrated Elementary Math Dictionary. And I didn't even know this, but when I was um, sharing this in a video the other day, I saw that in their um, manipulatives, you can buy them in a kit or you can buy them individually. They actually suggest the, um, I think the intermediate level of this um, Osborne book. So I thought that was pretty cool. So my, I got this thinking about my oldest who is nine and going into the fourth grade. And it's really colorful inside. And I like how they break down. Can you guys see that? The sections. I think they put it in simple terms and this is just as much for me as it is for him. I like math, but that wasn't my strong suit. I did well because I learned how to do well in school, not because I fully understood what I was learning, if that makes sense. And that is why I love homeschool because I want my boys to really understand what it is they're, what it is they're learning and um, the whys behind it. So this is a great book for that. I'm gonna keep flipping through. Okay. So you can see um, a lot of the topics that are covered. And here are the contents. All right. So I'll go a little quicker through the rest of these. This one is Mind Stretching Math Riddles, The Grapes of Math. And I found out about this book uh, um, through a mom in our homeschool co-op. She was doing this with the kids um, during one of our co-op days. So I thought my boys would enjoy having it. It's really simple, but I still think it's one of those books that they like to go back and read. The next one we have is Divide and Ride. I believe this book is a whole, um, as part of a series. I know the next ones that I'm going to share are part of the series. Circumference and the First Round Table. And all of the graphics pretty much look the same. But the kids are helping to solve whatever uh, math dilemma there is. So we also have circumference and the fraction fair. Circumference and dragon of pi. Circumference and the great uh, knight of Engleland circumference and all the king's tens 
And I think those are the only ones that we have. I believe there are more in this series, but these are really fun. The boys have enjoyed them. What's your angle, Pythagoras? Pythagoras. <laughs> And I got this one used. Yeah, and don't forget to check your, well, I haven't really been going, so I don't necessarily want to suggest other people go. But if your thrift stores are open, people are cleaning out their homes and organizing and things like that. So they may have let some um, books that they're no longer using um, go. So go check uh, thrift stores if you can. Um, you can find some great books there. This one is Millions to Measure. And my kids really like um, kind of like comic book. Feeling picture books. And then there's, I'm gonna grab this one. This one is part of that series, How Much is a Million? That is really pretty illustrations. I really like all the pastel colors. Right, so just simple stories to reinforce what we're learning. Um, I believe this is a part of a series too. I only have one book. Um, out of it though, it's called A Second, A Minute, A Week with Days in It, a book about time. <laughs> Cute and silly little illustrations. Perimeter, Area, and Volume in Monster Book of Dimensions. Fractions, decimals, and percents. Seeing symmetry. My little people just got home. <laughs> How pretty. And last, if you were a quadrilateral. My boys really like this book when we first got it, and they still do. But they would just sit and read it over and over. So that's it, guys. I just wanted to quickly share those books that we'll be adding. Someone's going out the door now. Um, adding to our math curriculum this year. Again, if you have any suggestions of math books that you like, please link them or comment with them below. And I will be back with more videos soon. All right, guys, remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Talk to you soon. Bye.